Hello everybody. Welcome back to another video. Yesterday I have gotten this power station for Christmas. And right now I was been charging this all night, but not like this, but it was on top of the AC. It was on top of there, so yeah. So anyways, um it was staying at one like zero bars blinking like one zero bars. And I think that has to do with the reason why, because it was cold in my room. Probably like in the 50s, in the Fahrenheit, in the Fahrenheit 50s. And then, once I warm up the room a little bit, it finally decided to work. To like, charge and all that, and jump all the way to two bars. So, yeah. This is what I got going on right now. It's, um... Uh, uh, this brand, it's a uh, capable of, uh, it's a 350 watt... Uh, output and uh, oh, wait, let me get the instructions manual real quick um, it comes with a, a 65 I think no 60 volt uh, 60 volt AC adapter so yeah and just to, well, just to verify it comes with this right here Okay. And it jumped down to two bar, one bar. That's not good. So yeah, it's charging stuff fine. I just gotta be, you know, wise of, you know, how I use it though. Let's see, let's see. And also, what I'm gonna try attempt to do is try it on this, the 20 USB adapter, and plug it in onto the AC outlet. This is what is it? Power dimensions right here. Oh no, wait, my phone is falling. Okay, that's what the power dimensions: 80 watt, um, 20 USB, and all maximum power output is 100 watts. So it may or may not work on the AC port right here on this thing, but it will be able to do about like 350 watts of you know output. So yeah. Also, I'm gonna turn this off. That way, I have a better chance of charging. Come on. Hmm. All right, I turn everything off. So yeah, this is what it is, and I'll be doing a lot of reviews on it so far, as well as testing. Um, which we call it. Um, the solar panels on it. it has a fan right here fan on the back right here too the warnings on the back and a flashlight there you go and it illuminates very slow where it won't blind y'all so quickly but the display it does not have information just to verify it doesn't have what's going in and what's going out so let's see here's the warnings all right there you go and here's the let's see hold on I got this from Christmas let's see oh wrong way this one is let's see this is the what it looks like uh, you know the bottom the portable power station it cut they call it the portable power generator that's what they call it portable power generator and there's the model the model version the capacity is 288 watt hours that's mm, it's, I thought I said a little higher higher than what it's rated on the instruction manual yeah, I can do like 350 watts of you know AC output. Here's the you know outputs. Um, sadly, it does not have Type C power delivery. Solar panels. 13, 22 volts, 4 amps. I think I think uh, I could plug in a hundred, a hundred watts of a solar panel. Maybe close to 100 watts, but not exactly 100 watts on that Anderson pole right here 
they call these ender symbols. Here's the standard USBs. And uh, why is there an extra one app? That makes no sense. Uh, oh yeah, no, I see one. It's a 3.0, USB 3.0. And then the type C uh, output out only. Don't know what the watts, but it's, you know, there. This may not be regulated. Just so y'all know. So yeah. Um, this right here is capable of doing 10 amps. This may be, this one may be built to do more. Um, so yeah. The AC output, I can easily play on the PS4 and have it powered on the TD at the same time. Which is really fun, really cool. So yeah. Right now I'm just charging it. Here's the warning on it. The light symbol, the pure sine wave symbol, and the the temperature overheating and then the modify sine wave symbol and the percent symbol. Actually not the percent symbol, there's USB symbol, type C symbol, USB symbol. And there's a, a DC symbol, 12 volts output. And there's the AC symbol, but unfortunately it won't, it won't power on no matter how hard I try. Because it does not have um, AC output capability. Maybe with two outlets, that means you can do, um, what you call it, charge it while it's um, using maybe one outlet. Just to ensure it's charging really good. And sadly, this is probably why. That's, you know, maybe charging slow. Or if the temperature is affecting it, this kind of cord will not make the adapter hot. And also you have to delay, let this kind of build up with power first before you plug it into the power station, just to verify with y'all. Um, make sure you look at the light and make sure it gets to a full max brightness before plugging this to the power station, just to let y'all know on that one, folks until it um, has a chance to like put power in because this will you know suck that up <laughs> and also if you're going to charge this on the car just remember you have your car um, running on gas and uh, as long as you're having a running or idling or driving so I would take my about like about like 14 hours to like charge on the car um, solar panels and um, outlet it may be 8 to 10 hours if this is you know accurate enough the display is accurate enough um, but I haven't charged the on the solar panels yet I haven't tried this port yet or it's like really good better than this one or if it favors more than over this one or if it favors this one over this one so yeah this is what it looking like so far and I may even test it, test it outside though too. But unfortunately, I can't today because there's no sun. There is no sun. It's just clown, clowns in the area. But I can do a review in here inside anyway. So there's no, no way that the sun will stop me from doing anything on this, you know, thing, unit. So yeah, and also it has a overheating temperature symbol. A warning symbol, escalation mark symbol with the triangle, and uh, yeah, I could still see the displays, the display symbols on this thing. But yeah, so yeah, that's all this thing has to offer. So, yeah, yep. <clears throat> so this thing has a limited of uh, ten amps, and then. Um, so yeah, this part right here is gold, like this is what it looks like, literally. That's what it looks like. And also, this thing, uh, just to let y'all know, this thing has uh, a thousand cycles, a thousand charge cycles. So it's got a high quality battery inside. Um, some can maybe do more cycles than 10,000. I mean, the 
than uh, 1,000 cycles. I mean, there is no battery out there that does 10,000 cycles that I know of. But anyways, 1,000 cycles, this is what it's capable of. It will still be worth it. But I would use it only for, like, um, uh, when it, you know, when it counts. Only when it counts. And also, as well as for power outages, though, too. Yep, power outages, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, it can be hard, though, because the fact that you won't be able to know the activity of what's going on. Like, what's going in and what's going out. No matter where you're charging it from. Also, just to verify, it does not have power delivery. And it does not have wireless charging pad on top to, like, wireless charge your phone at, you know, 10 watts. And also, another another feature that I'm missing is the app control, where it will show a Bluetooth symbol. It's called All Powers from another power station. All Powers, uh, 30, 372 watt hours. But this one has 350... Oh, no, wait. 350 watt hours um, and it says and it says 288 watt hours so that doesn't make sense okay I think the other reason why they underrate it is because the capacity will be lost you know, lost of its capacity when it was um, which call it I think the reason why they underrate it that way is because it would lose about like 80 or 80 to 90 percent of its com max capacity after you know the 10 after the one, uh, 1000 cycle ends and eventually once it reaches to 1000 cycles it'll eventually the battery after a while will eventually wore out like wore wore out is what it says on the instructions but anyhow it's still a good unit and it's a non -remo removable battery and don't even try to take it apart though either or dismantle it or of any way of any con, that's what that says. So yeah, and also these units not for kids and children to play with. Um, like, watch my clock. If they don't know how to use this unit um, safely, that's the that's the only reason, only reason that I was saying no. It's only if they know how to use this, you know, safely. Only for adult uh, adult supervi supervision is what it is. But I would say be careful using this thing, the DC this DC ports. They can charge their technologies right here or right here, which I don't mind. You know them charging from these two. I mean, if they have something like this right here, maybe. But you know. But anyways, um, yeah, I'll be putting this to the test. And uh, we'll be testing it as you know as it lends accounts, but this will not be for the TV and PS4 as often. If the if the power were to go out, and all that, I'll be using it when it counts. I'll be using mostly this, these ports to you know you know, to outlast its battery life. You know, whenever you don't have you know power in my own power storage, for a while. So yeah. Anyways, any recording now. We'll be doing something else with this thing and also opening some more gifts. And today is recording on my Samsung Galaxy J7 Prime 2017. 69% on its battery, 7, 7.50 a.m. And it's um, Monday, December 28th. I got this since uh, December 27 yesterday. I'm the wrapping presents. But anyways, bye-bye now. And enjoy and remember to store a lot of power for power outages to be more and more prepared. So anyways, goodbye and peace out.